If you had to pick the most important innovation of the last generation, there's a good chance the internet would be the top pick. It has changed the world, and yes, adorable cat videos too. A huge challenge here at the Henry Ford is trying to put the entire museum collection online for everyone to see. I mean, they've got about 26 million artifacts here. This, of course, creates something vital for their digital team, job security. As you walk through the Henry Ford, or its outdoor counterpart, Greenfield Village, you're only seeing a tiny percentage of the artifacts the Henry Ford has in its collection. But exactly what is an artifact? An artifact would be anything our curators collect, from a photograph to a letter to a car to a plane to a train. It's anything that has historical significance. To post the Henry Ford's artifacts online, they first need to be digitized. Digitizing involves capturing an analog artifact digitally so it can be seen on a computer. This can be achieved in many ways, such as photos, scans, audio files, even 3D mapping of an object. The Henry Ford's director of digital and emerging media, Matt Majeski, showed me some examples of their digitizing process. I have been all over this museum, but I've never been down this hallway. Where are you taking me? We are heading to the photo studio. This is where we digitize. Ah, OK, all right. And you're the digitizing guy. Yes. Part of digitizing is taking a picture Absolutely, of it. yeah. And really, the future of it is multimedia types of uh, expression. So it could be 360s, it could be 3D animations, it could be x-rays. We have 26 million things to digitize, which would take, at the, the rate we're going, 2,500 years to digitize everything. Matt and his team post the digitized artifacts to the Henry Ford's website. We only have about 5% of the collection out on display, so it lets people see the rest of the collection, the 95% that they can't see when they come visit. What is this? So this is a microscope used by George Washington Carver. <whistles> yep. Is he the peanut guy? I forgot. He is the peanut guy. Right. Yes. And so this is actually on display in the museum and potentially we could do a 360 where you could spin it and really experience the object and then start to tell stories about it. So this microscope is ready for its close-up. It's ready, yes. Digitized artifacts range from a huge 19th century portrait camera down to a single 19th century photograph. So this is a photo of Henry Ford around 1891, so this is in the streets of Detroit before he became famous. Place. That's a bike, yeah. We'll create multiple what-if stories. And so the first one was, what if Henry Ford had never finished building his first automobile? We focused on this period of his life, and so we tell this in a vivid, vivid storytelling fashion, which adds context to this archival item and to even if someone goes and sees the quadricycle, they start to learn the background, they learn the context. Of course, all of the digitizing is done by humans, including Henry Ford photographer Rudy Ruziska, who has been here longer than I've been alive. I started June 1955. <laughs> I've been here a long time. What's something that you photographed that kind of really got you in the gut emotionally? They asked me to shoot interiors of the Kennedy car, in which I had to get in the back seat where President Kennedy sat, and I go like, wow. That's history. And at all the hundreds of thousands of photographs you've taken in here, have you ever taken just one selfie? Well done! <laughs> and that gets added to the collection. It is now. <laughs> it's in my collection. <laughs>